Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Jones and I'm new in town. We're kicking off this three episode series with a visit from trumpet player Steve Land and friends. It's Mardi Gras, so they're gonna give us a little jazz, but before they do, Steve's gonna teach me how to make gumbo from scratch, roux included. You ready to see and hear some magic? Great, take a seat, because we're about to get started. Watch up the tulips down in New Orleans. Prettiest Indians that you ever seen. The wild magnolias, they jump too. The nine wall hunters, you know they coming through. They so we're making gumbo, first of all, what kind? We're making one, it's just chicken and sausage. Okay. Basic, basically. Gumbo is the most opinionated dish ever. It could be thin, it could be thick, it could be a dark roux, it could be a lighter roux, it could have seafood, it could not have seafood, it can have tomatoes, it could not have tomatoes. Somebody's gonna watch whatever we're doing and, and they're gonna immediately, within 10 minutes of what I'm starting, how we start. Nope, that's not how you do it. And it's. So should I turn the comment section off? Turn the comment <laughs> section off. Don't even worry about it because somebody's going to tell you 10 ways. Oh, you turn know what he should have done? Mm -hmm. What do we need the oven on for the chicken? How do you like 400. to? 400. 400? Well, 400. I'm going to start slicing sausage. How big do you want these slices? Um, does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It, it, it could be. It's all opinionated, so it could be some. I think the, you're using the band that members using... will be like, uh, it, it, it should probably be smaller, actually, because that's how my, my, my mom does it. Well, yeah, that's why you keep saying that. You're doing this disclaimer so that nobody gets up your can about making it wrong. <laughs> yes, I will continuously do this disclaimer. <laughs> this is how I like it. <laughs> so, this is the roux I made earlier duck fat, butter. Butter, flour, and uh, vegetable oil. Yep, that's... That's beautiful. Okay, I'll pour it all in. Do we have a beer or wine? Whoop. You don't really need it for the roux, but you kind of need it for the roux. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know about that. Yeah, so right. there's, we have, we have some red wine, but then there's also this like pretty nifty beer. Oh, that's fine. It's this... That's perfectly fine. It's kind of hoppy, but yeah. it's nice and dark. I didn't know about the beer. See, I didn't even know. Well, see, that lady didn't put beer in there. It's about. It's more. It's not so much about the. Uh, it's not so much about putting it in there. Uh -huh. It's the fact that you're gonna be there for so long. Ah. You might want. No, I'm. I'm. I'm serious as a heart attack. I grabbed this out so you could put it inside. No, no, no. I, I thought we were just gonna uh, have a drink and start the room. Oh, <laughs> well, we could do that. We don't have to. It's like peanut butter and coffee. It's like a mocha. Yeah. I color. mean, the, the the word is like chocolate milk or darker. Chocolate milk or darker, okay. So, this is the vibe, Like, I, but it's done. So right. I'm going to turn this off for now. Okay. We're gonna fry the sausage in the pan with a little butter. Okay, great. That's so much butter. In yeah, there. <laughs> a lot of butter. How much did you put? <laughs> oh, Plenty. No. Okay, that's good. We're, we're gonna be okay. Right, right, right. We're gonna, we're gonna be all right. You'll nothing's, be fine. Nothing's gonna happen to anybody. You'll be fine. So we we'll do this. That's why you don't eat gumbo all the time. Okay. Well, there you go. No, no trouble people there. From, people in Louisiana are just eating gumbos and jambalayas every other day. Just, just we couldn't. We wouldn't be able to last. <laughs> that's just not how it works. Pretty much everything you combine at the same time. Okay. Put it all in there with the broth. And, uh, yeah. and then just let it roll. You let it roll. Add the paprika. Mm -hmm. Add a lot of paprika. It's very paprika based. Yeah, you made me get this yeah, big old container. Like, get a lot of paprika. This yes. enormous. <laughs> I don't like exactly. it's the biggest one. Uh, yeah, I had you, this size. Uh, and now uh, and you're, like, and you're yeah. like, get the. I'm like, I don't. What are you doing, <laughs> Matt? Like, what are you. So we have, we're at a point where everything is going to get just thrown in the pot, uh -huh. right? So yep. let's do that. Let's just finish up uh -huh. um, and then let everybody set up and then we just go play for a while yeah. while this is cooking. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's going to be very cool. I can't wait. So you're going to play what? Uh, this is uh, a Bobby Hutchinson song called Tranquility. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right.
<laughs> yeah. Like that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. When people think jazz in New Orleans, they think certain things, right? Yeah. And so we have we're, we have a keyboard bass instead of an upright bass. Mm-hmm. And we have a keyboard instead of a piano. Tell me about like this. Like how did you get from what you know we all learn and know and love as like the kind of historical you know New Orleans jazz to this right here which is just super awesome and it's like current and relevant and yeah. not that the other isn't but this is like yeah. present day, present voice present tense there is absolutely a modern there's people are still writing that's what that's one of the things that this is that i think people don't understand about what up from this city that from what i've seen it's People are still making music. They're still writing stuff for how they feel at the moment. And not to say that uh, the past isn't important because it absolutely is. And you know, none of us would be here without some study from uh, history. But it's, it's actually what I love about the, this city and from what I've seen, it's, it's there's such a clear distinct, I, I can see so many musicians who play, who can play what we just did and can jump back in time immediately and play some stride piano or something like you know and just because it's all like it's kind of all one and the same Mm -hmm. and it's that's that that, all i can say is like guys like ellis marcellus like we're gonna the the other song by harold batiste um people are still writing they're still alive they're still having their own experiences and you know and you know it's it's i I think louis Louis armstrong is is a progression of what have, what came before him at that time, and it's the same thing. I think it's just a continuation. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just important for us to not to those of us who are coming, who are new in town, <laughs> um, coming from somewhere else, <laughs> um, not to kind of freeze this the sound in one space. We we let hip hop evolve here. We let other things evolve here. Yeah. Less has evolved here really well, yeah. but we don't think about that because we want to keep kind of this like. Um, you know, this kind of preciousness about it. It's the same connection to the rest of the aspects of the city. People, people, you know, friends and tourists come here and then, oh yeah, you guys don't just party and drink all day? And like, well, nah, I gotta get up for work in the morning. <laughs> and like, just like, isn't there a parade every single day? There are a lot of parades, don't get me wrong, but it's like, that people are alive and existing and being and eating and and living and working, and it's just the same as any other place. So why shouldn't our music do to progress to? Um, what else you got? This song by the great Harold Baptiste, Heartless Left.
Yay, I don't, I don't even, I can't even think after that. So um, can you all whip around and introduce yourselves real quick? Uh, just, you know, so that the people know who's in this room. Mm -hmm. here. I'm Shea Pierre from New Orleans. I'm actually from 20 miles west of New Orleans, the St. John Parish. Uh, I've been playing piano my whole life. I'm 26 now. I've been playing the better part of 20 years. I actually started out playing drums. And uh, I grew up here learning from the great elders. I actually went to NOCA. And um, you know, I'm still learning and studying here with great people like Donna Harrison and you know, uh, people like Mr. Ellis and myself. And uh, you know, I'm still really kind of soaking up the culture of the city. My name is Oscar Rossignoli. I'm from Honduras and I've been in New Orleans for almost five years. I'm a pianist and uh, I came to Louisiana in 2011 went to LSU in Baton Rouge and moved to the Big Easy right after graduation. <laughs> yeah. My name is Alfred Jordan Jr. I play the drums. I'm from right here in this city. It's great, great, wonderful city. Uh, I've been playing drums my whole life, 25, and been playing since I was about three years old. Um, didn't really get into this type of music until honestly like i went to college i went to college at berkeley college of music uh, i was fortunate to be blessed with a scholarship to go there and that really you know changed my like uh, musical direction i've been playing trumpet since uh well basically my entire life but since i was like eight i guess and now i'm going to go ahead and say that has that's been 24 years ago um Moved, of course, moved to New Orleans about eight years ago, seven, nine years ago, but I was playing here before then. Um, I remember just, I had such a big impression. 2006 was the, time, was the first time I actually played here, and it's left such an impression on me because of just the frequency of outstanding musicians. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just knew it. And not only that, but that connection, like we were just talking about, to like that old music that, that, that the people here had. And as well as, you know, very progressive too. It was, you know, it kind of had a, a lot of what I wanted, what I like in music and what I wanted out of music. Can we do one more thing? Yes, of course. I'd love it if we could read one of mine. Yeah, Is that cool? Yeah, this uh, song comes from uh, a musical that I wrote, my first full one by myself that I wrote. Okay. Uh, and it's called The Puppet Show. Uh, and it is kind of this neo vaudeville play within a play, kind of having people poke at why they uh, hold the isms that they hold, right? Racism, sexism, mm -hmm. ageism, all of those things. Um, with us, you know, kind of casting ourselves as puppets being managed by our expectations, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so this character, she's kind of that, you know, bam, hot and tot, um, half naked. You know, we tend to put our young black women in no clothes and all of their glory mm -hmm. on display. Mm -hmm. So this is her singing about that.
I don't get to sing. <laughs> Someone else always gets to sing these songs, so it's <laughs> kind of fun. Um, who's hungry? Yes. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've been waiting to eat. Let's, <laughs> let's get some bowls and get some food to eat. Yes, yes. Yay, it smells so good. It worked out. It did, it did. I did, well, nobody can say anything. Well, the comments people can say something, but that's too bad. <laughs> they're wrong. Whatever they're saying, okay, it's wrong. I don't care about you in the comments, I don't They're wrong, because we're eating it. <laughs> so, um, we also have something else rice on the table. So one of the things that I wanted to share is something from where I come from. So there's rice pudding. Mm. Bread pudding is big down here. But I always loved the rice pudding. And uh, my grandma stopped making it for a while. I don't know why she stopped. She found mm. the bread pudding and it was over with the rice pudding. Mm. And so when I was thinking about what to pair with this to say thank you, um, it's like, let me bring back the rice pudding. Nice. So mm. you'll have to, if you've never had it before, never had you'll it. have to, uh, uh, and it's the baked kind, so there's two kinds of rice pudding. There's that creamy kind of white kind that you can get, and that's the stovetop one, but we always like the kind that came out of mm -hmm. It's like stovetop macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. There's really only one kind of macaroni and cheese. The mm -hmm. other kind is what you do in an emergency. When <laughs> <laughs> you have an emergency. That's very true, yeah. I agree. Where can people hear you all? How do we find out where we can follow you? Maybe go around and say, where do, we, where do we look for you? Uh, pretty regularly at uh, Bacchanal. Uh, I play at Bacchanal all the time. Um, and besides that, I play with Shannon Powell mm -hmm. um, a lot on Saturdays at uh, the Carousel Bar. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, uh, what's your Twitter handle? <laughs> Twitter handle? I don't do Twitter. <laughs> Instagram, the Steve Lands. Yes, the Steve, Steve, Steve Lands. And we will we will, we will be posting all of your info on the page. Oh, yeah. so you can click and find y'all. Find me on the Facebooks and the yeah. Instas. I play Spotty Cat on mm. Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh, Robin Barnes mm -hmm. at seven, mm -hmm. and then ten thirty with Five Casey. Yeah, run the yes. gauntlet. <laughs> I play with uh, Big Sam's Funky Nation, and we, we travel a lot, so that's my main gig right now, besides church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I play with these cats all the time. So. Uh, right um, yeah, they, mm. right. they just did this last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Right, right, right. Yeah. Not off the presses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. um. At Alfred Jordan Jr. on Instagram. Yeah, I don't do Facebook. Twitter. <laughs> no, Twitter. Just Instagram. One is enough. I barely do Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram. I kind of travel a lot. Um, and you catch me at the Jazz Playhouse every other Wednesday with Michael Watson. Well, we're going to keep eating and chatting. Uh, but you can hear all about these guys, find out all about them at the bottom of the page, just under where you're watching this right now. Ways to click and hear them, see them, like them, share them, particularly with people in Boston and Chicago and all of those parts. Y'all need to know about these fine folks here playing. This is episode one. We will see you next week for another episode of New in Town. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Keep eating. There's too much food. Uh, <laughs> if insist, if insist. All right, sure. Well, that's it for this edition of New in Town. Please check out all the artists that you met today. Click around the page, check their links out, check out their music, stream it, buy it, share it around, and be sure to join us next time on New in Town.